So guys, this is my story. I'm currently doing laundry and a laundry mat is past midnight. The lighting in here was awesome. Nobody's even in here. And I can be as loud as I want. So I'm gonna begin to tell my story. And it starts out. I was born on February the 1st, which all of you guys know. Uh, I had a great early childhood. Um, you know, my childhood was awesome. Um, had you know, I had the best parents, good sisters. You know, uh, both sides of my like my mom and dad's family were awesome. Uh, just great times. I mean, pretty good. I mean, I felt pretty lucky as a kid. You know, no one. I have such an awesome family uh, because a lot of kids that I knew didn't have as solid as a family as I did and I remember thinking man I'm so lucky so at a young age I uh, one thing I did is I danced like Elvis a lot and my dad and my grandpa would film me I could dance like Elvis perfect at a very early age <laughs> so that, that was pretty wild and then at a very young age, I got a Terry Bradshaw post on football, and that was and so that's why I'm a Steel fan. That was when I was like three years old. Uh, one day when I was three or something like that, my cousin and my aunt were coming by, and I was jumping up and down on the couch. I dove off, hit the hit my head. You know, that was pretty bad. But anyway, like I said, I had a great childhood. Uh, at an early age, I, I love, I, you know, I fell in love with Los Angeles, L.A. I became a Dodger fan. But something was different about me at a young age, you know. I thought, what's different about me? And it's pretty s sensitive stuff. It's, uh, most of you know by now, I have a speech impediment. You know, my mom and dad, they, uh, they took me to a speech pathologist uh, at an early age, even before I went to kindergarten. And most people thought, hey, you're fine. You know, he's going to be fine. He's brilliant. You know, he's smart. But then one, somebody, one of the, another speech pathologist or somebody told my mom and dad that I won't be nothing. Like, like I will never graduate high school. So, where we are now, this is where I spent my elementary years. It's Hurlsman School, one of the oldest schools in the country. Uh, my great, like my grandma's parents, my great grandma, they used to live over here on that blue house, I'll point it out. Yeah, I used to, I used to spend time over here for lunch, for after school. Or I don't right there. Ain't that awesome? And then there was a school. So anyway, my old years of life, my first times being away from home was right here. Every morning for school, we'd walk this to the playground, this parking lot here. It's a Portland complex now. And anyway, we'd walk back and forth here. Uh, these old bells up here, those big metal things, they've been there for years. Those are the bells. That's why I went to elementary school. And like I said, growing up in, uh, I mean, being in elementary, for the most part, kids accepted me. Uh, it, they really did, uh, surprisingly. Because, you know, with my speech impediment, it, it was, uh, most kids with my type of speech impediment were outcasts and just made fun of. For the most part, I was accepted, but I did have some boys that bullied me, and uh, well, I made fun of my speech impediment. It affects me to this day. Um, yeah, it's, it, 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 it does, no doubt about it. It affects me to this day. It affects my self-confidence, my self-esteem. 
to this day. Uh, the way I talk, I alter, you know, because I don't want people to make fun of it. That stems back to elementary school, believe it or not. Uh, but for the most part, I couldn't have asked for a better group of classmates. I uh, couldn't have asked for a better school, a better place to, to grow up through, you know, go through elementary school. Uh, one day, a funny story, well, it passed one day I was coming home and I, well, I was late to class and my dad let me walk to school. So they had monkey balls down there and uh, we'd always see blood spots on the playground where kids would crack their head open, slide, you know, falling from the monkey balls and stuff like that, right? I, it was raining that day, for some reason that, uh, I mean, I never fell on nothing, but for some reason that day, I was just so excited, I got up on the monkey balls and swung around, and I was at the very top, and I slid off, I'll never forget it, and I fell straight back, I mean, from high up, right on my head, got up, it scared me more than anything, got up, nothing happened, I was fine. Went into school. I was, I mean, it was unbelievable. But anyway, this is where I grew up. This is where my mom went to school for elementary. This is where my grandma went to school for elementary. And this is where whole mom and dad went to, and my great grandpa, grandparents went to school for elementary. So there's a lot of history with me in this school. My sisters, I believe, well, my old sister went here, oh, my aunts and stuff, so this is, there's a lot of history here, so this is where it all began, this is my first life away from home right here, elementary school, uh, every morning before school, we'd, we would walk the parking lot, uh, at recess, we'd play kickball right here, you know, we'd kick the ball, and this would be outfield right here. I don't ever forget. I remember lining up against this wall up here. Elementary school was an awesome time. I miss it. And I haven't been here for years. Oh, girls me in elementary. So, it's pretty cool. So I did. I had a great elementary, you know, time in elementary. This is where my dream of coaching basketball began to to well materialize in my brain. Believe it or not, before elementary, my dream was to coach basketball. And this is where I was dreaming about LMA, even at that young age. So that is my elementary story. Uh, yeah, it takes me back. I used to be a cross guard out front, and uh, I thought that was pretty cool as a fourth grader. Um, I remember being in the classrooms and and us getting a bad snowstorm and seeing the snow fly through, the, you know, fly outside through the windows, you know, and and being told that we would be sent home from school, from school and stuff like that. Just a lot of warm, fuzzy feelings here. Girls Man Elementary School, one of the oldest schools in the country. And uh, this building right here, this part of the building here wants a gym too. So a lot of good memories. But this is where it all began. This is where I dreamed of being what I wanted to be. And without question, it was a basketball coach for Indiana University of Bloomington. So. That is the elementary part, and now we're going to head to middle school, and I'll show you where I went to middle school. Yo, so this is where well, I was a Costco right here, but this is where the bus is pulled up. These are big tulip trees. Yep, so I'd be a crossbow right here, and sometimes down here at this intersection. section.